Today's video is a highly requested video. I'm going to show you how I untwisted my gray crochet braids and I'm also going to do a mini review on the Cornrow Express Cap by Vivica Fox. So this is what the Cornrow Cap looks like and I know it looks quite different than what we're used to but I really wanted to try and use this cap to see what the result would be and how it feels to work with this cap. So I got this cap in size medium and as you can see it fits my mannequin quite well. This is the hair I'm going to be using in today's video. I am going to be recycling hair that I had in my previous crochet braids tutorial. These twists come 12 to a pack and I also colored this hair gray. So if you did not see how this hair looks installed in my hair as a crochet tutorial, you can click the video on your screen. It will take you to that tutorial so you can see all of the styles that I was able to achieve using this hair. But I decided to recycle the hair and I wanted to show you how it looks once this hair is reinstalled on a new cap and also how the hair looks once you untwist the hair. So I am using this new cap and it was not hard to crochet the hair onto those braids but you will have to kind of manipulate your needle through the corn roll because it's on a nylon cap but as you can see the twists are installed pretty well and I didn't have any trouble using this cap to do crochet braids. What I'm doing here is I'm skipping every other braid and I'm installing the hair straight down the middle. Now I do want to give you guys a fair warning. I do not suggest sewing or crocheting every corn roll because this cap has a lot of space and you will have to install like 10 to 12 packs in order to cover everything. So what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that I apply crochet braids to the perimeter or the hairline because you don't want to see those corn rolls in the front. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start to space out the rest of my crochet braids on each side of my cap because I want to make sure that I get maximum coverage. So we are going to complete this process on the opposite side of the cap. Now again I'm going to be starting at the hairline and I'm going to work my way from the hairline and I'm going to work my way to the back of the cap. Definitely making sure that I space out the braids because I am going to be unraveling my twist. But I definitely want to give you guys a tip on how to make sure you have enough hair for this cap. So for this hairstyle I use six packs of hair and I divided it in the following manner. I used three packs on the top of my cap, I used two packs per side, and I used one pack in the back. And that was the only way I was able to evenly apply the hair to the cap without seeing a lot of spaces. So we're going to continue to add the crocheted hair to the top of the cap. And of course, when you get to the top, you want to make sure that you crochet extremely close together because, you, again, you don't want to see any braids or spaces in between your twist out. It's really a good idea to shake your mannequin as you're crocheting your hair in just to make sure that the spaces aren't visible. So we're going to unravel our twists, of course, starting in the front. But when you're working with the hair that you sprayed with the hair color, definitely make sure you have some oil, coconut oil, Oregon oil on your hair so that you don't get any frizz. So once you separate all of your twists, this is what the hair should look like. So again, I have the wig on. So this is what the color is looking like so far. But I wanted to add a little more spunk to the style. So I decided to add a little more of the color spray. 
So I decided to add it a little bit closer to the roots on one side because I just wanted to change the style up just a little bit and I wanted to see more of the gray. So I'm just going to apply it closer to the roots and I'm going to let that dry for a couple of minutes. I definitely suggest that you shake your twist as you're spraying to make sure that all of the hair has an even coating of the gray spray. So this is what the back looks like and this is the finished style. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next tutorial.